Hi, Gamer here. Are you still spending hours making LODs for every asset? With the Unreal Engine 5, Nanite might save you or not. Today, let's settle the debate Nanite versus LODs. When to choose or when to use which and how to stop wasting performance. This lecture comes also as a response to one of the comments that I have from you guys. I'm sorry for the stupidly obvious question, but what about Nanite? So, without further ado, let's start with it. First, let's start by explaining LODs. LODs, or level of detail, are like having multiple versions of the same model. Close up, you get the high detail one. Far away, Unreal swaps a low poly version. It's like flipping through photos of different resolution depending on distance. We already explained all of these on a lengthy video on the channel, so go check it up at the start of this playlist. Let's see now with Nanite. Nanite changes the game. Instead of swapping models, it dynamically streams only the triangles you can actually see. Think of it like a small camera lens, always showing you just the detail you need in real time. Let's see now the comparison between the two. With LODs, you or your tools need to generate multiple matches. That takes time and eats memory. Nanite, you just drop your high poly model straight into the engine. No LODs needed. Let's see now the performance. Both methods improve performance, but differently. LODs reduce poly count at distance. But you still store every LOD mesh. Nanite only draws visible detail, which can push insane geometry counts. But it's heavier on the GPU and not supported for everything yet. If you made it this far, please consider subscribing to the channel. I also have some digital asset there if you want to help me progress and continue with the good work on this channel. So please consider acquiring one of my digital assets so I can continue providing good content. Thanks again, and let's continue the lecture. All right, so when use what, and when should you use which? <laughs> Obviously, use LODs for foliage, characters, animated assets, or transparency. Use Nanite for static meshes like cliffs, buildings, or detailed props. In practice, you'll often combine both there's no restriction, so why restrict yourself? There you have it. LODs are your reliable workhouse. It's here, it works, it's been proven for years. Nanite is your futuristic powerhouse. It's the future. Used right, they stop you from wasting performance. So now, I would like to know, what's been your biggest struggle optimizing UE5 project? Drop it in the comments. I'll feature some in my next video. If this helped, smash that like button, subscribe for more UE5 tips, and I'll see you in the next one.